In this video, we're talking about how to use linear approximation to estimate a root. And in this particular problem, we've been asked to find the fourth root of 15, which is the same thing, this is equal to 15 to the 1 fourth power. So we've been asked to find the value of this, 15 to the 1 fourth power, or the fourth root of 15. Remember that the fourth root of 15 is going to be whatever we have to multiply by itself four times in order to get 15. And of course, that's not going to be a whole number, so without a calculator, this would be potentially difficult to do. But we can actually use linear approximation to do this on paper. The way that we're going to do it is by finding a value that's close to 15 that has a fourth root that's easy to find, and then using that new value to create a linear approximation equation that we can use to find the value, the fourth root of 15. So what we realize is that 16 has a fourth root. The fourth root of 16 is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 to the fourth power, is 16. So if we had instead been asked to find the fourth root of 16, we could have said, no problem, that's 2. But the fourth root of 15 isn't as easy, it's not a whole number. So we're going to use this value here, the fourth root of 16, to create a linear approximation equation that's going to allow us to find the value 15 to the 1 fourth, or the fourth root of 15. So instead of using 15 here, we're going to replace 15 with x, and we're going to call our function f of x is equal to the fourth root of x. When we find the linear approximation equation L of x, we're finding the linear approximation equation of a function f of x. And this is going to be the function we're going to use, f of x. So we just replaced 15 here with x, and this is the function that we're going to find a linear approximation equation for. So when we find this linear approximation equation, remember that we need three things. We need, first of all, f of a. Secondly, we need f prime of a. And lastly, we're going to need a value for a. We're going to need to plug in for those three things in order to get a linear approximation equation. So since 16 is very close to 15, and we can easily find the fourth root of it, we already know that the fourth root is 2, we're going to say that x is equal to 16. We're going to use x equals 16, or in this case, a equals 16. We're going to plug 16 in for a into our equation, which means that we're going to need to find f of 16. We're going to need to find f prime of 16, and we're going to plug 16 in for a right here. So in order to find f of 16 and f prime of 16, we're going to use this function f of x that we created where we replaced 15 with x. So in order to find f of 16, we just plug 16 in for x here. So we're going to say f of 16 equals the fourth root of, plugging 16 in for x, we get 16 here. Well, we already know that that's 2. We already calculated that up here. So we already had that value. What about f prime of 16? Well, in order to find that, first we'll have to find the derivative. So we're going to go ahead and say f prime of x is going to be equal to. And then in order to find the derivative of the fourth root of x, we want to change this fourth root of x to x to the 1 fourth power. Because then, to find the derivative of that, we just use power rule. We bring the 1 fourth down in front, so we get 1 fourth x and then we subtract 1 from the exponent. So 1 fourth minus 1, we can change that to 1 fourth minus 4 over 4 and see that we get a negative 3 fourths. If we want to simplify this derivative function, we can move the x to the negative 3 fourths to the denominator to make this exponent positive. So we end up with 1 over 4x to the positive 3 fourths for our derivative function. Now we need to find f prime of 16, which means we need to plug 16 in for x into our derivative function. So we get 1 over 4 times 16 raised to the 3 fourths power. And now we need to evaluate this right hand side. So what we can do is recognize that this exponent here, 3 fourths, 3 fourths is the same thing if we cancel this out here. 3 fourths is the same thing as 1 fourth multiplied by 3, right? If we take 1 fourth times 3, we get 3 fourths. Well, if we have 16 to the 1 fourth times 3, we can first take 16 to the 1 fourth and then raise it to the third power. So we can actually rewrite this equation here as 1 over 4 times 16 first to the 1 fourth then raised to the third. We haven't changed the value at all, because when you have exponents like this, you just multiply them together like they're multiplied here. So we haven't changed the value, we've just rewritten it in a different way. And now, of course, that allows us to see that we can have 1 over 
four, and then 16 to the one fourth, that's the same thing as the fourth root of 16, and then we raise it to the third. Well, we know that the fourth root of 16 is two, so we can replace this here with two. Two to the third power is eight, so we can replace this whole thing with eight, and we can see that we have one in the numerator divided by four times eight in the denominator, or just 32. So now we can say that f prime of 16 is one over 32. So now we can write our linear approximation equation. We'll go ahead and say L of x is gonna be equal to f of a, or f of 16, we already found that, that's two, so we can go ahead and plug two in. Then we'll say plus f prime of 16, we just found that that was one over 32, so we plug one over 32 in for f prime of 16, or f prime of a multiplied by x minus a. We go ahead and leave the x, but we're plugging in 16 for a. And now we have a linear approximation equation that approximates f of x equals the fourth root of x. We have an approximation at 16. We're gonna use this equation to find the value at 15, when x is 15. So we just need to go ahead and simplify this. We'll go ahead and say l of x is equal to two plus one over 32 times x, or just x over 32 minus 16 over 32, which is gonna be minus one half. Two here is the same thing as four halves, so we have four halves minus one half, which gives us three halves, so we can say L of X is equal to three halves plus X over 32. If we wanna write this as one fraction, we need to find a common denominator, which we can do by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator here by 16, because we'll get two times 16, or 32 in the denominator, so that's gonna give us L of X is equal to, three times 16 is 48, two times 16 is 32, so 48 over 32 plus X over 32, so then we can say L of X is gonna be equal to, since we have the same denominator, we can combine these fractions and say 48 plus X all over 32. And now to use this linear approximation equation to estimate the fourth root of 15, we just plug 15 in for x, because remember we had this f of x equals the fourth root of x. Well, in this case, we're saying x is equal to 15. The value we're interested in is x equals 15. So we just plug 15 in for x over here, and we say L of 15 is equal to 48 plus 15 divided by 32, so L of 15 is equal to 48 plus 15 is 58 63 so we say 63 over 32 and this value right here 63 over 32 we could convert it to a decimal if we wanted to but 63 over 32 is the approximate value of the fourth root of 15.